highlighted shows in a long time is playing right now at the Denver Center. It's the 2010 Tony Award winning musical Memphis and Denver audiences are giving it standing ovations. I was there on Saturday night for the second time and yep, there was another standing ovation. One of the breakout stars joins us in the studio this morning. We're so happy to welcome, this is Rhett George. How does it feel to be in a show that everybody's raving about, Rhett? <laughs> it feels great. I mean, every night the audience is with us um, all the way through the show. Uh, they're, you know, very enthusiastic and, um, you know, they feel what we're feeling. And every night without fail, the audience is on their feet when we take our bows. So oh, it's, it's a heartwarming. Great Thank you. And yeah, they sing really along is. too. I hope you don't hold that against the audience. Oh, I never. was singing along at the end too. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. I mean, I feel like they get the CDs before, you know, the word of mouth and they got the CD and they know the words before we, you know, even say them, you know, and sing them. So, yeah. You've been in a lot of shows. You were telling me earlier that you've been on stage for 12 years doing Broadway shows. Yeah, just about. Mm -hmm. And you just completed your second album. And oh, I want to read the title <laughs> of this album. The Music Will Save My Life. That's a very yeah. provocative title. What do you mean by that? Well, I feel like music is a very universal language. And whether you're feeling sad or whether you're feeling happy or, you know, energetic, you know, you pop in a CD, you know, I know what, whenever I'm feeling certain, you know, emotions, I always pop in a CD. I play music every day, all day. Mm. So, you know, let's say I'm in a bad mood, you know, the music will save my life, you know, for that day. So that's where I kind of came up with that title. Oh, I can't wait to hear that. But let's get back to the musical right now. We do have some clips. Tell us about Memphis. Set the plot for us. Well, Memphis, um, you know, deals um, with a white DJ. It's based on, you know, a numerous amount of white DJs in that time period, 1950s, 60s, that they started playing um, black music on white stations. And they called it race music. Yes, at the they called it race music at the time, and of course that was a no-no. But it actually made, um, you know. Uh, certain DJs more famous and more popular um, because the music was so great. Um, and then, you know, another plot of our story is that um, uh, Huey Calhoun, the main character, he falls in love with a gorgeous R&B black singer. And of course, that was a no-no in that time period as well. So it just deals with, you know, of falling in love and dealing with equality and dealing with, you know, what's right from what's wrong or, you know, you just love for for for, for the self and not for the outside. Right. Yeah. And the casting is incredible. There are so many fabulous roles, including yours. Your character is quiet and mysterious. Yes. Tell us about Gator. Well, Gator uh, is one of Huey's, you know, good friends. He becomes Huey's good friends, uh, good friend, and uh, he's a bartender in the show, and he doesn't speak for the whole first act. Now, is that challenging? I mean, it's as a performer, because you can't be vocalizing and, and warming up your your vocal cords. Exactly. You know, so I mean, backstage, I tend to hum throughout the you know throughout the first act. But you know, as a as someone that's silent in the show, I feel like I have to find other ways to make myself present. Uh, so the audience can still know that I'm there, you know, whether I use my face, I try to use my face a lot, I try to be more physical with my body, um, just so they know that I have a voice without speaking. Mm. So when I do speak uh, and I have a breakthrough, you know, in the show, they can feel me, they know why, you know. Talk uh, about breakthrough. It's a breakthrough performance. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. This Thank is Rhett so George. Watch for him. He's a star. Memphis, by the way, is playing at the Buell Theater through October 21st. Tickets range from $25 to $105. And we have a link to more information at thedenverchannel.com. Just scroll down until you find that red button.